James Gunn has decided that despite the fact that he has been canceled himself for jokes that he made on Twitter, that he is going to defend cancel culture, praise cancel culture, call it a really, really good thing. And when we get into his example for why cancel culture is a good thing, I'm going to completely just destroy that because it makes no sense whatsoever. It is complete nonsense coming from James Gunn. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this, this interview here. So Marvel director James Gunn addresses his temporary cancellation, defends cancel culture as accountability. And we're seeing that coming a lot from the people who have the power to cancel. The leftists, the SJWs, the wokesters, all of these people are justifying cancel culture and saying that it's all about accountability not realizing the the very dangerous precedents that cancel culture sets for a, our country as a whole as far as free speech goes and everything else so marvel director james gunn is speaking out about what it was like to be temporarily canceled for old tweets i think it's ridiculous i don't think that anyone should be canceled for tweets that they made 10 years ago. I think that is ridiculous. I've said it many, many times. I said it when, when it happened to Kevin Hart, and I will say it when it's happening to James Gunn. I think it's ridiculous. I absolutely hated the tweets that he made, and I think that I, I did not find them funny at all. I thought that they were disgusting. But with all that being said, the fact that he was canceled for them is pretty pathetic. It would be a different story if he was actually, you know, actually doing those things and we knew that he was doing those things. But as far as we know, they were jokes. They were very tasteless jokes. They were, they were jokes that even I found offensive. And I am someone who finds some very, very offensive things hilarious. But with all that being said, in 2018, Disney fired the writer-director best known for his work on the Guardians of the Galaxy films and DC's upcoming Suicide Squad after Twitter users unearthed past remarks where he made jokes about very not good stuff not good stuff at all which we all know about right so for it so this is him kind of giving his reactions to what happened during that day when he was canceled for a day it seemed like everything was gone everything was gone gun said i was going to have to sell my house i was never going to be able to work again that's what it felt like so gun described receiving the news from marvel head kevin feige at the time saying i called kevin the morning it was going on and i said is this a big deal he went on to share details of their con conversation and he goes i don't know that was a moment i was like you don't know i was surprised later he called me he himself was in shock and told me what the powers that be had decided which resulted in james gunn being fired so then james gunn decides to make this absolutely atrocious comparison and he says cancel culture is also is people like harvey weinstein who should be canceled gunn said people who have gotten canceled and then remain canceled most of those people deserve that the paparazzi are not just the people on the streets they're the people com combing twitter for any past sins all of that sucks it's painful but some of it is accountability and that part of it is good it's just about finding that balance so this is bullshit because harvey weinstein absolutely is someone who should be canceled absolutely is someone who should be locked away because he is not someone who just said jokes harvey weinstein is someone who didn't just say things on twitter that people found offensive harvey weinstein has actually done horrible things harvey weinstein is someone who actually has done illegal things who is who has done criminal things who has done terrible terrible things he has actually done those things and justice should be served for that but we're not talking about that when it comes to people like james gunn or the best example right now is Gina Carano, right? Like Gina Carano, she she tweeted something out on on social media, or it was in, it was on Instagram, I believe. She posted something on Instagram where it was basically, uh, you know, kind of like a, a Nazi comparison and stuff. And she was fired for that by Disney, the same company that fired James Gunn. Guess which one? Guess which of these two people got rehired? James Gunn despite the fact that he said things that were way worse, in my opinion, than Gina Carano did. Gina Carano didn't even say anything bad. I understood what she meant. She wasn't trying to discount, you know, the Holocaust or anything else. She was trying to make a point. But that was all it took for Disney, the evil, horrible bully company that they are, to fire her, and they haven't rehired her since. I believe by this point, James Gunn was rehired by Disney. And J James Gunn has been rehired by Disney. He's back. He's making Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So, 
basically what that means is that Gina Carano, because she's a conservative, she was fired for that. I think that that had a lot more to do with it than what she actually said in that one singular post on social media. A lot of that has to do with the fact that Gina Carano is someone who is bold, who shares her opinions that go against the grain, that go against what Hollywood is pushing and promoting, and she was fired for that. James Gunn, what he is doing falls in line, or I should say the jokes that he made in the past falls in line pretty well with the general acceptance in Hollywood, therefore he is rehired. It isn't about cancel culture, this has nothing to do with cancel culture. James Gunn, he was fired for, by because they had to make a, a you know a, a publicity statement with that, but then they rehired him after the the temperature cooled off. Gina Carano still fired. Harvey Weinstein absolutely should be gone. He should be in, he should be in jail. He should be gone. And all of these situations are completely different from each other. And guess who made it out of all of these situations the best? The guy who told really really evil jokes. Not Gina Carano. And the fact that he's trying to make a comparison here between Harvey Weinstein and himself. What? <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense at all. Harvey Weinstein, like, it, it, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. People who have gotten canceled and then remain canceled. Most of those people deserve that. So you're saying Gina Carano deserved that? Is that what you're saying, James Gunn? Kevin Hart? Did Kevin Hart deserve you know, getting fired from hosting the Oscars and stuff because of jokes that he made 10 years ago that weren't nearly as bad as your jokes. It's all pathetic. It's all ridiculous. And there's a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of double standards when it comes to Hollywood and this type of stuff. James Gunn is a, a messed up dude. And um, that is that is basically it. And the fact that he is now defending cancel culture and calling it accountability culture. The thing that the leftists and the wokesters are pushing right now, accountability culture. It's not cancel culture. We're not canceling you. We're just holding you accountable by destroying your livelihood, you know, ruining your job, ruining your reputation, trying to get you destroyed and in silence and, and taken off of social media and gone forever. All of that is just accountability. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about what James Gunn is saying here? Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.